Hello, welcome to another telehealth information video. My name is Garvin and today's video is on Flutiform Inhaler. Flutiform Inhaler contains two active ingredients, Fluticasone and Formiterol. These work in different ways to reduce inflammation in lungs and keep the airways open. Flutiform is used to control asthma. I note that Flutiform doesn't cure asthma. It's, help, it's used to help manage and control the asthma. It should be used regularly, even when you have no asthma symptoms. You should still keep your reliever inhaler with you at all times in case you do have an asthma attack. The two active ingredients in the Flutiform inhaler work in different ways to reduce inflammation in the lungs and keep the airways open. Fluticasone is a man-made derivative of a corticosteroid. Corticosteroids are natural substances that reduce inflammation in the body. When you breathe in fluticasone, it's absorbed into the cells of the lungs and airways. It stops these cells from releasing chemicals that normally cause immune and allergic responses resulting in inflammation. By stopping these chemicals being released, fluticasone reduces inflammation in the lungs. Formiterol is a type of medicine called a long-acting B22 agonist. It works by relaxing the muscles in the airways and allowing the airways to open, making it easier to breathe. Formiterol starts to work in one to three minutes and the effects last for about 12 hours. It is important that you read the information leaflet provided with your inhaler as this gives detailed instructions on how you use and look after your inhaler. The usual dose of Flutiform is two puffs inhaled twice a day, every day, even when you don't have asthma symptoms. However, it's important to follow the instructions given to you by your doctor. Rinse your mouth with water after each time you use your Flutiform inhaler. This minimizes the risk of developing a fungal infection in the mouth called oral thrush, which can sometimes be associated with inhaled corticosteroids. Consult your doctor if you develop white patches in your mouth or throat, as these are symptoms of thrush. Don't suddenly stop taking Flutiform, even if you don't currently have any breathing difficulties, unless your doctor instructs you otherwise. Flutiform inhaler should only be used during pregnancy or while breastfeeding, if the potential benefits of treatment to the mother outweigh the risks to the baby. If you're pregnant, you suspect that you may be pregnant or are breastfeeding, make sure to seek your doctor's advice. Some of the main side effects of Flutiform inhaler include headache, feeling dizzy, or throat irritation. For a complete list of the side effects, go to my website, lynchespharmacy.com. And remember that all medicines have potential side effects, but this doesn't mean that you'll experience them. That brings this video to an end. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below or contact me through lynchespharmacy.com. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.